The flick is about three young millennials working in a very rundown old movie theater that's one of the last movie theaters that uses actual 35mm film. It's on the verge of switching to digital and we see them at different points in their lives and they're all struggling to find meaning and happiness and purpose. My character Avery is a very interesting and very complex character, but he is also caring if you choose to be caring with him as well. He may be rough around the edges with some things, but also he's a, a good companion to have as well. Sam is a 30 year old who still lives with his parents. Throughout the play, you see this older guy working with these younger people, and uh, he's just trying to figure out life still. She's very confused, <laughs> very lost. Rose is um, definitely adventurous. She is very spontaneous. She's kind of a diva. And she's really important because she has a lot to do with Avery, this new guy that comes in. And Avery is very shy and he just doesn't want anything to do with Rose, but Rose likes a challenge, so she goes for him. The Dreaming Man, he's just asleep in the theater for a scene, but uh, Skyler is, uh, he's just getting the job and uh, the theater's kind of like a second home. He's been going for years. He finally comes up in here, but he just wants to get the job done. He's very efficient, very hardworking. So. The set design for this show was pretty challenging uh, because we need to recreate a rundown theater and uh, usually it's like an interior box set or like something that you really don't see on stage because it's just a mundane theater. So like the main challenge for the flick especially is getting the seats and then it's making it look like a theater. Being an assistant director under Ashley is serving as like a second eye during the rehearsal process. I think she totally has like what she wants, uh, what she expects, but there are some scenes where we'll work on together and we'll both be throwing ideas back and forth or while the actors are taking breaks, we'll collaborate there and then really, really just focus on the performances and how to improve it all around. This play has been on my bucket list to direct for many years. Um, so when I had the opportunity to suggest what play I, that I might be interested in directing this season, the flick was the first thing I asked for. I love working with a small cast. I am blown away every day by how talented our students are. And this has been a really lovely kind of cathartic experience for me, getting to explore issues that are affecting all of us every day and I think we're telling the story at a really critical time. Um, all of the issues that we explore in the play are what our students and what our St. Angelo community members are having to deal with every day, right on the verge of an election. And so I think this is a really interesting way of opening a respectful dialogue in a human way. Um, it really revolves around race. It revolves around the millennial slash young people's struggle. Um, there's talks about, you know, uh, financial issues, race issues, one not understanding the other. I mean, these are things that we deal with all the time, I think, especially in this environment. If anyone takes anything from it, I hope it's that. It's just so, it's intense. It's intense and sometimes it just makes you feel like, eh, but at the end it's just like, ah. Uh. I uh, definitely want to take away, like, I guess the friendships that I've gained, the relationship between actors and cast members and, and crew members. To work with Ashley and a few others, like it's from our first year here is really cool. Come see the flick by Annie Baker. We're excited to have you. Um, it'll be a great time as we explore film through the medium of theater and get to see some millennial stories. <laughs>